They say legends never die, they're only reborn. And I am with such an icon today, the Triumph Bonneville T100. The heritage of this motorcycle dates back as far as 1959. It's a gentleman's bike with a beastly side to it. Enough of talking, let's get riding. This is a motorcycle with a lot of heritage, a lot of history and triumphs, engineering prowess, a British icon here in India to please and thrill the Indian biking community. So the Bonneville T100 is powered by a 900cc parallel twin engine. It puts out approximately 54 bhp and 80 newton meters of torque. Peak power comes in at approximately 5900 rpm, while peak torque comes in at approximately 3200 rpm. So, this is definitely a torquey motorcycle, and peak torque of 80 newton meters comes in low in the range, and that enables this motorcycle to take on inclines even if you're in a higher gear pretty easily. And that low end torque also caters to a very, very thrilling ride experience. The engine has been weighted to a 5-speed transmission and the gear shifts are crisp. They're as crisp as biting into potato chips, hassle-free and seamless. So this is not a high revving engine and the engine is reasonably quick through the first two gears. The 4th and 5th gears can be stretched out on highways and this motorcycle is happy cruising between 140 and 150 on highways. You have a 320mm disc in the front and a 235mm disc in the rear. Both discs come with two pot calipers. These are from Nissan. They are progressive and they are extremely efficient. Inspire a lot of confidence. So starting off, first gear 60. Second gear 100 and this motorcycle literally comes to a halt in seconds. The ABS is really finely tuned. The braking setup is progressive and inspires a lot of confidence. The throttle response is crisp and accurate, smooth. When you open the throttle, the vehicle surges forward with ease but does not jolt and jerk you around. So suspension is facilitated by telescopic forks in the front and dual shocks in the rear. The suspension is mildly on the stiffer side, means it gobbles in potholes, bumps, all sorts of undulations pretty well and it has a decent ground clearance. So even if you're heading out to the countryside and don't know what kind of terrain you're going to encounter, it's not a problem because the Bonneville T100 takes care of it with ease. So even when you're taking on some hard corners, you can do so without second guessing yourself thanks to a very well engineered traction control setup, thanks to good grip from these tires. The rider seat height has been set at 790mm and the sink that it gets with the handlebars and the foot pegs give you a very very ergonomic riding posture. It's comfortable for touring on long journeys, it's comfortable even if you're riding hard in the city, it won't wear you out. You get a 14.5 litre fuel tank on the Triumph Bonneville T100 and it also returns almost 25 to 26 kilometres to a litre of fuel. Depends on how hard you're pushing the motorcycle. Triumph has also added two trip meters and auto meter, average fuel consumption distance to empty and a gear position indicator it's pretty light it weighs in at approximately 214 kilos so if you ask me i would tell you this motorcycle is ideal for the city roads for the country roads and for that liberating ride it's definitely a gentleman's motorcycle with a devilish side to it it's got that 
retro touch and retro appeal it gets its heritage from an icon it itself is an icon and does not fail to amuse you well that sums it up from our side we hope you like this review if you did please remember to like share and subscribe to the motown india channel for more thanks for watching